Weatherspoons, a staple of British culture where the social elites gather for their daily 9am pints and discuss the important topics, like how much they hate America, freedom, and brushing their teeth. Any Englishman will tell you it's the most classy establishment in all the UK. What? No, no, it's definitely not. Fucking Spoons! Classy place! Yeah. No, but in all honesty, it's just like a British version of Applebee's or Chili's. But there's a fucking million of them in London, so today we'll be attempting the Weatherspoons challenge by drinking one beer at every Weatherspoons pub in London. There's 16. The first American to ever do so. Thus scientifically proving American superiority. There will be trials. There will be great suffering. And there will definitely be alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Honestly. But most of all, there will be glory. My newest moment. If you're a self-loathing alcoholic such as myself, this one's for you. Enjoy. Oh, and by the way, I feel like YouTube is not gonna like this video, so if you wanna support me making more unhinged stuff, stuff that's not made for the algorithm, that's not made for fucking four-year-olds on YouTube, then join the Patreon right now. It's $3 a month for early access to every video, including this one. And for $5 a month, you get extended cut videos of everything I post on the main channel. Enjoy. Greetings, friends, and welcome to London, England, where today we're gonna be attempting the Weatherspoons challenge. Never heard of Weatherspoons. It's basically like the chilies of North America. I think it's just like a mediocre bar. Uh, very cheap alcohol and shitty food and terrible atmosphere. Uh, but apparently the Englishmen love to go out and drink at all 16 Weatherspoons in England or in London. I think a few have been closed since the original challenge started by this fellow here. I don't know his name. Uh, we're starting really late in the day, so I'm not sure if it's literally possible to do this, but um, I guess if I fail, I'll have something for all the Brits to talk shit about because I just love talking about America. So you might notice I'm wearing the, the boy Euro trash jacket that everyone loves to wear around here. I want to try to fit in in the bars here until they hear me open my big stupid American mouth. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I think this is going to be fun or terrible. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> wow, look at the beautiful phone booths of England. Wow, aren't they so cute? Imagine how much meth was smoked in there. Oh my god, this is kind of nice. Weather spoon or weather bee? Oh, this is it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah, it looks nice. Right. Oh, this is nice. Oh, wow. A classy establishment. <laughs> yeah, the vibe is a little weird in here. It's like uh, Christmassy, gambling, people enjoying like nice family meals. Yeah. It's like imitation nice. It's like tacky nice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, you have slot machines right behind you. But yeah. then like a nice carpet and like nice yeah. tables. And... It's just odd because there's like old people enjoying their lunch <laughs> and we're like trying to get fucked up. <laughs> Honestly, it just feels like a nicer Applebee's. Yeah. Okay, um... Cheers, love. To the first drink of several. <laughs> At least several. I don't know how far we're going to get. Yeah. But... Oh, that's nice. Oh. All right, top All right. number one down, 15 to go, or 16. Also, I just want to say I love how they have the prices of all the uh, the beers there. Because if you're a real cheap fuck, it's easy to choose what beer you want. Yeah. Wow, so that was the, the Willow Walk. I feel like it's all going to be downhill from here. This one seems sadder. Yeah, this is a lot This one seems here. sad. <laughs> oh, actually, this is nice. Hey. Okay. This is really nice. This is a classy place. We're classy for being here. <laughs> Look at these ceilings. <laughs> a working class bar. It's where the common man goes to drink. Cheers. Cheers. Well, there's definitely a specific clientele. It's like old, kind of sad people, and then like young, broke people. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of seems like underage drinking. Yeah, you can be 18 and drink here. Oh shit, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The menu is really big and colorful. It's meant for like low IQ British people <laughs> to like understand what they're buying. And us too. I mean, <laughs> let's not beat around the bush. We're also retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's all fun and games. We're at the second bar. I'm feeling great, but we have hours to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm already a little turned as well. This is, oh man, I'm feeling woozy. It's two drinks. Did you just stumble a little bit? No. You stumbled. <laughs> Look, the sun is out in the UK. It's a rare sun sighting in the winter. There's about three hours of sunlight. Honestly, when it goes behind the buildings, there's probably like two and a half hours of sunlight each day here in the UK. The sun sets at like 3.50, rises, I don't know. I don't know when. Haven't been able to wake up in time, but 
There's no sunlight here at all. So now we can see this beautiful Sherlock Holmes statue. Wow, look at it. Should we pee on it? <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell are we? This is fantastic. Is that a Christmas market? I think I've been here. I think this signifies some victory the English had in some war, some shit. I don't know. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a, it's a, a general's statue in, uh, that fought in India. Wow. So we're still liking those guys over here. All right. <laughs> wow. What a brave guy fighting in India. What a good dude. <laughs> we're not here to see culture. We're here to get drunk in sad, lonely bars. So let us continue. We love this. Cute, I love it. This is gorgeous. I love it. But it pales in comparison to what Weatherspoons is able <laughs> to provide for us. Sad, lonely, haggard yes, faces. Yes, the British experience. <laughs> this is how you know we're in the right place. When there's a TGI Fridays in proximity, you know you're approaching a Weatherspoons. It's that classy, sophisticated, rich clientele that only attracts TGI Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> Two for one cocktails. Look, they're getting us. They're getting us with their marketing. We're <laughs> trash. Let's go. It is right next to the TGI Fridays. It's right next to it. Fuck yes. We got the slot machines per usual. Also, it's jammed at 2 p.m. on a Monday. Like, who is in here at 2 p.m. on a Monday? This sad alcoholics i guess i don't know thanks very much Thank cheers right, just right. slug them and bounce yeah all right this right here is when it stopped being fun my third beer in 90 minutes i haven't drank this much since college my 30 year old stomach was not having a good time so i thought it needed some spicy fried chicken with gravy. honestly that sounds fire all right the next weather spin is only a five minute walk away Motivation so is high because the chicken was way spicy. Yeah, it's really, it's really hot. Really. So let's traverse, let's traverse the tourist hellscape <laughs> and get to the next bar hellscape. <laughs> wow, look at the art and culture of London. Wow, so much culture, so much art, so much human excrement. <laughs> look at these beautiful local pubs we could pop into. We will not. We will not be going to the Cambridge. Oh, it's so cute. This though. lovely little local oh, joint. It probably looks really warm and cozy inside. Look at the candles. No, I will not look at the candles. <laughs> I will not partake in real British culture. I will partake in the gross commercialized version of fucking Weatherspoons. How authentic. Oh wow, this one looks more like a casino almost. Yeah. It's giving hard rock cafe. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like the UK is very similar to the US. I know you Brits will hate that opinion, but it really is. America's like Britain 2.0. England is like America 1.0. It's like the unupdated version. It's older, you know? It's just, they're very similar countries. I don't feel like I'm in a foreign country right now. I feel like I'm in a shitty Applebee's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we're trying a Cascale. Cheers. Yeah, it just tastes like a flat, shitty beer. Is it warm? It's not warm, it's like room temperature, which is fine. It's fine, it's winter. But in the summer, I would never want to drink this. It's like mildly refrigerated, mildly carbonated. It tastes like someone left out an actual beer overnight. Oh, and I'm yeah. drinking it, yeah. Polishing off some people's empties at the bar. Yeah, as one does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you come to England, I would not try the Casco if you're coming in the summer. Maybe in the winter, but no, not in the summer. The historic Shakespeare's head where Shakespeare once put beer into his head. Here we are. The other lovely <laughs> white spoons, wither spoons, whatever the f it's called, you go. <laughs> oh, not bad, not a bad vibe. Did they, they pour another pint? They didn't have it in a bottle. Oh no, yeah. oh god. Yeah. Damn it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. I'm becoming less and less enthused. Cheers, man. We're doing the Weather Spoons Challenge. That's yeah. very fun. It's all right, this is our fifth, so it's still fun, but I think soon it's going to be very oh, not so fun. People in the UK start drinking so early though. I know. We open at eight, but we don't serve alcohol until nine. Like, at the end of nine? Oh, it's so People come in to drink. Yeah, yeah, with their breakfast and the dinner. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Fuck, man. Yeah, I've done the math. I've done some small brain math and over the course of five beers, full pints, that's four extra ounces per beer. So I have 20 extra ounces that have not been necessary to fulfill the minimum requirement of one alcoholic drink at each Weatherspoons. So if 
feel like I should just get little pussy ass shots in the next place. No, no, I think you need to continue with mine. <laughs> What's bigger than a pint? A quart? What is a quart? I don't know. I don't know stuff. <laughs> yeah. Pedrin Shrimp Oak. Pendrels Oak. Here we go. Here we are. Ugh. Smells like cigs. <laughs> This one might be the saddest. Yeah. This one might be the saddest. This is the most Applebee's oh, feeling I've had. This was fun the first like three or four places, but yeah. five, six. <laughs> Thank God, a 12 ounce four. Jesus. What's this, number six? Mm-hmm. Bad? We're not doing bad, honestly. We're doing okay. I think in the scheme of things, we're doing pretty bad because we have 10 more. <laughs> There was this place in college we would go with something called Dime Time, and it was Dime Dos Equis for one hour. 60 minutes, you could get a Dos Equis for a dime. And we would put down like, you know, probably seven or eight in an hour, at Jesus. least. Yeah. Other places have that, right? Like Power Hour, is that the same thing? Uh, I've never done it. I don't have a drinking problem like you. <laughs> also, it's better than Chili's because every single restaurant and every single table has something that says, beware of thieves. There's no risk of thievery. Thieves. Thieves, the presence Chili's. of thieves makes me feel alive. <laughs> I don't feel alive in a Chili's. I feel God in this Chili's tonight. I feel God in this Weatherspoons tonight. <laughs> at the bottom of this drink. Over this law book. <laughs> I'm gonna be studying. While you're drinking, I'm studying the law. King's Bench Division. This matters. This matters to me. There's a chicken stuffing bacon brie cranberry panini. That's too many words. I lost track of the words. <laughs> that was the that was the saddest one we've been in, honestly. It was. Lonely people drinking alone. Yeah. Just doing slots. Just thinking. I've been avoiding sugary drinks like the plague this entire yeah. time, and then I ordered the sticky coffee bunny. Like the plague, which originated in the UK, I think. Right. That's right. This is an educational. Yeah, episode. you're learning stuff. We're not. <laughs> Fucking all retarded here. <laughs> Ready? Oh, there's a McDicks. Oh, there's a McDicks. We should get McDicks. Mamos. We have drinking to do, darling. Oh. McDonald's and drinking. Oh. What a perfect day, <laughs> darling. The free house of culture. Are you tired of Weatherspoons yet? <laughs> Never. <laughs> I'm sick of it. This is our this is our seventh, right? Mm -hmm. So we're, 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 we're trucking along right now. I think it used to be a prison, according to the sign. Prisoners used to have to beg passerby for supper out the window what? of the prison. Aren't we all a prisoner here to alcoholism? Can we have vodka soda lime and Stella from the bottle? Uh, Non-alcoholic. Alcoholic. <laughs> it's not very much liquor, because I'm still doing okay. You don't think the drinks are that strong? No, I really don't. I think in the States, if I had four liquor drinks, I, you'd be carrying me home. And she's had seven. I've had seven and I'm fine. <laughs> I feel like warm and happy, but like normally I'd be sick as well. Right, so the UK is a bunch of pussies is what you're saying. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying I think they water down the tree. Yeah, so they're pussies is what she's saying. I'll say it. She doesn't want to say it. All right. Wow, this actually looks nice. What the hell? Thank you. Thanks, sir. Cheers. Thank you very much. Sorry, so what bar is this? Is this bar number eight? Uh, actually, yes. Yeah. This is bar number eight. How did you know? I uh, lucky guess. <laughs> yeah, bar number eight. Yeah, exactly. With every drink that I have, the more it just tastes like water. See, with the beer, it tastes better and better. Every beer. Really? It tastes better. Oh, I love it. All right. And with that, we are halfway done through the challenge from hell. <laughs> the challenge brought to you by food poisoning and alcohol poisoning, alcohol, uh, what's it called when you drink too much? Ism. Alcoholism. <laughs> brought to you by alcoholism. Stay in school, you'll be, for you'll be forced to drink alcohol on camera like a whore. Like us. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you're drunk. I'm drunk. Bastard. <laughs> She's drunk, I'm not drunk. Bastard. <laughs> I'm not drunk. I've had eight beers. I'm not drunk. I'm You're gonna fall on that fucking I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm fucking not drunk. You're drunk. Sitting at home. Bastard. Cunt. <laughs> Football match, yeah? Yeah, in it. What is it, love? What's what? <laughs> <laughs> My legs feel really jelloey. <laughs>
and I feel like I want to scream at strangers. What? But I'm not gonna. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> not in this area. <laughs> yeah. All the thieves right? signs. Thieves operating. <laughs> Should I steal this? Should I steal it? Should no. Steal it? Okay. it was like covered in some kind of gunk. Good times. It smells like human feces. Yeah, it smells bad. We love London. Wow. Amazing. See the American flag there. Whatever the flag is that. I don't know. I'm not cultured. I'm not here to get cultured. I'm here to drink in whatever the What's the pub, what's the pub called again? Frage, Japanese fried chicken. What? What's the pub called again? Weatherby. Weather spoons. Weather spoons. I'm here to drink in weather spoons. Katsu no. noodles. Absolutely not. We're not here to learn about the world. Yeah. <laughs> chicken katsu curry. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, brother. Very nice. Very nice. No more culture. No more learning. No more fun. We're here to drink <laughs> no and more suffer the English way, okay? You guys see what he does to me. <laughs> I'm feeling fucked. I'm feeling like I've had eight beers and that I don't want eight more beers. My body will potentially reject the next day beers. I'm having, I'm having quite a bit of fun. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Honestly, the Aldi is identical to the Aldi America. It's like the same thing. That's what I'm saying. Like the UK is just like a weird alternative universe to America. It's like really not that different. Yeah, it's a glitch in the matrix. It's like a more adorable version of America. Yeah, a more adorable, slightly less racist <laughs> version of America. I've had eight, eight full pints. Seven, six, six full pints. Two half, two, three quarter, two, two thirds pints. No more math. <laughs> I don't know. Is this it? Oh, Jesus Christ, I hope not. Is it? Oh no. Oh God. You have whatever you want, darling. Whatever I want, as long as it's a vodka water. <laughs> Honestly, whatever you want. Seriously. Thank you. Now I was starting to get it. I was starting to feel miserable. Starting to feel like an alcoholic. Starting to hate life. And then it dawned on me. This is what it feels like to be British. We're doing it for the glory of our nation. To uphold the victory of the revolution. I feel proud. The Englishman watching this video, get f***ed. Alright? because an American is doing your challenge faster than you. Well, I guess there's less bars. There's less bars. Okay, you never mind. I back that up. I'm gonna, retra I'm gonna redact that statement. How many did they do, 20? Eh, it's not important. It's not important. <laughs> <laughs> How many Revolutionary Wars did they win? Oh. Hi, sorry, is this Weatherspoons? Yes, buddy. Hey. This is it? Yeah. Right in here. Right in here. All right, thanks. Yeah, we gotta go that way? Okay, thanks. Good Thank luck you. with the bouncer. We'll see, thanks. Hello, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Oh my God. This, this is, is different. Nice. Jesus. This is much different. This is really nice. I am blown away by this weather. It's Hamilton Hall. Have you just started? No, we're on. This is number eleven. Thank you. I, I'm really trying, man. I'm really trying. You know. Thanks, brother. Uh, five more. We're, we're okay, right? We're all right. We have favorite shoes. Honestly, it's really f nice, man. The whatever f uh, uh, pictures on the walls. I don't know. I'm, I'm stupid, but <laughs> yeah, they're really nice, man. Honestly. Enjoy the other five spoons. That's a lot fun. Thank you, bro. Dawn, monumentous moment. <laughs> monumentous. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt and FDR and Barack Obama all spoke about moments like this. Monumentous <laughs> moments. In American history and we're doing it and we won 20. bigly <laughs> we won so bigly we won better than them better than, who? than the 20 guys we, 16 is better than 20 in some way listen listen we won bigly billions oh god and billions okay billions. I think it's time to go to the next one look this is the one we were talking about this we like this place walking by okay. Hello. Weather spoons, right? Yeah. Weather spoons. Okay, perfect, thanks. Oh wow. This is Dees. It's like a fing bank. It's like madmen in this bitch. Oh, it does look like it could have been a bank. By this point I was so fed up. I hadn't had water in hours and I was doing anything but fine. We're doing fine. Thanks very much. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, baby, look at that poor. That's the poor of a man who is not doing okay. Let's go. Should we drink some more water? Yes. Yeah.
At this point, my bladder was about to pop, so I was thrown into this local cozy hole in the wall. I didn't get any good footage in there, but don't worry, it was just like a 600 year old pub or something, I can't even remember. It wasn't a Weatherspoons or anything. So after terrorizing this poor person in the stall, and let's be honest, probably missing the toilet seat altogether, we set off for the next spoons. Pass the turnstiles. Wow. For royalty in this bitch. John Hawkins. Wow. We found it. This one was hard to find, this honestly. This one was hidden. We honestly. went down some side streets. We earned it. We earned it. What do you want? Vodka soda. Vodka soda lime. Here we go. Thanks. Do you know the Weatherspoons challenge? No, what is it? Every Weatherspoons in London in one day. You're doing it. 16. We're doing it right now. That's what we're trying to do. Oh, okay, so how many have you got? This is number 12. I mean, we've been spending all our day in Weatherspoons the whole day. Like, it's just like sad old people gambling and like, you know? We get like the regulars as well that come in every single day. Yeah, like gambling and shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. we have this one guy, he comes in from like 12 and he'll stir the machine to be close. Wow. Yeah, 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 literally, you come in every single day as well. Yeah. Oh my god. No, we love London, bro. We love it. Yeah, no, likewise. It was at this point that the drinks got flowing. The bartender started giving us free taste of all his favorite beers. And since I'm a young, sophisticated guy, a renaissance man, we are making some great conversation. You use Miles here, right? This is cool. Uh, yeah. Thanks, man. Cheers. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a uh, Cascal. See, Actually, we like the carbonated stuff. That. You like it? Yeah, I like that better. Oh, wow. Than it. Thanks for hooking it up, man. Thank you, bro. Uh, mm. Oh, my God. It's so good. Here we go. Gracias. You're welcome. How you doing? Yeah, we're doing the Weather Spoons Challenge. Hey, guys. This is the, this is the 15th. Wait, 14th, 14th challenge? 14th spot. We're doing... Welcome to Good Luck, What are you drinking? Um, Vodka soda with lime? What, what do I have been drinking? Uh, do you have bottles of... A soda? Corona. I appreciate how you're so game with it, though. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I've never heard of anyone doing something. No, thanks. It's been fun so far. It's been all right. It's been a full day. Like, eight yeah. hours of drinking. Well, as long as you enjoyed it, it's the main thing. I'm hoping all the other weather spins are... Um, it's honestly nice. You believe you. No, it's honest. Have you been to the U.S. before? No, I haven't. We have like a neighborhood bar called like Chili's or Applebee's. It's like a a neighborhood kind of chain. It's yeah. kind of like Weatherspoons. It's like yeah. you go, you feel welcome, no yeah. matter what, no matter yeah. what you're wearing or whatever. Yeah. That's what I feel like Weatherspoons is. Yeah. No matter the what. Food, yeah. Food. Right, cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you. And yep, you guessed it. I was trying my very best to not throw up. I was doing it for my countrymen. If I was only going to drink 16 pints at Weatherspoons, then by God, I was not going to throw up on British soil. I just don't want to throw up. I know. Did we throw up? Did we eat? Just right before we came here. Bye bye, Corona. Corona number 15. Or whatever the fuck. <laughs> so right about now, I started making this horrible hiccuping sound <laughs> that only told me one thing. I was about to barf in an Uber. The Uber's coming. Thanks very much. No See you next. Bye. Thanks very much. Bye. Thank you. Thank I can't fucking handle this. How do you English do this? Honestly, I feel terrible. How do you terrible. do this? I feel like I'm going to throw up. I feel terrible. I feel terrible. We have two more. We have one more. And then... Oh. Jesus. Oh, I think I want to chuck in this Uber. Boy, please don't. No, 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 I want, I want, I want. I'll chuck out the window. I feel all right, actually. We have like an hour and 19, uh, 19 minutes left. That's not bad. Are you going to chuck, baby? No, I'm not going to chuck. I'm not going to chuck. I think I want to chuck in this Uber. Boy. I'm doing all right. Honestly. Yeah, it's him. We were a little further back. The fact that the Uber driver did not immediately throw me out is a downright miracle. I was hiccuping and I was about to get in a moving car. I mean, this is just a recipe for disaster for this man. Cheers, man. Thanks very much. All right, here we go. Second to last piece of shit. Oh, no, no. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. 
Fish to rise, folks. The second to last weather prunes. Remember, kids, alcohol makes you very cool and hip and more cunning with the opposite sex. So have 15 drinks and you too can come up with clever one-liners like... I feel like Elf. I feel I'm, like I'm Elfie. Hammered. I feel like Buddy and Elf. I'm feeling like Buddy and Elf. Cheers. Yeah, sure. Fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I hate myself. And for some stupid reason, the Brits love to finish this little challenge by riding a bike to the last pub. But since we're not from the UK, and we drank enough alcohol to kill a family of small elephants, all we could find were these little lime bikes. So, 16 beers deep, in the rain, we set out on our quest to finally beat Britain once and for all. Here we go, 15 bars later. Are we ready to eat shit? Are we ready to head on collide with a cab in London? Are we or not? Oh my god, it's f***ing freezing. It like and it's Here we go, it's raining, it's London, it's a piece of shit. It blows. Do we love the Union Jack? We do, but this sucks nuts. As the rain picked up, I thought about quitting. But then I remembered why we do this. To prove, once and for all, who's really the greatest nation in the world. The country that gave the world the Spice Girls and beans on toast, or the country of freedom, Oxycontin, and more guns per capita than ever in human history. Yeah, I'll probably die in a mass shooting in a movie theater, but at least I was free. Unlike these godless, gunless f**ks. F this whole country. No, we should take a test. We're still a mile away. After struggling harder than the Brits do at orthodontics, we finally rocked up to the last pub with just minutes to spare. Hi, are you still serving? Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Cheers. And with that first sip, I once and for all proved American superiority over this miserable little overcast island. So this one goes out to all you Brits who think you're so f***ing special. The ones who look down on America because we're an embarrassment to the Western world. Well, we're not so different, motherfuckers. We're pretty much the same country. Just imagine going to Rhode Island or Delaware or some other old ass state. It's the same shit. So next time you're talking shit about my country, remember, anything you can do, I can do 16 20ths of. <laughs> Monumous moment. Monumous.